Lesson 14.1b, now we're going to be finding distances in the coordinate plane using absolute value. We have learned in Lesson 1.1 about integers and their opposites on a number line. Two numbers are opposites if, on a number line, they are the same distance from zero, but on different sides of zero. It's sort of like a reflection if zero was the line of reflection. We have negative two and a positive two. They're opposites. They're both two jumps from zero. We learned in video 3.2b that the absolute value of a number is that number's distance from zero on a number line. Negative two is two jumps from zero. The absolute value of negative two is two. Absolute values are always positive numbers because they're distances. And distances are always positive numbers. We can use absolute values to find distances between two points that have the same x-coordinate. We can find the distance between point A and point B. There's a vertical difference. We find the difference between point A and the axis, the x-axis. It's at y is equal to 4, so point A is the absolute value of 4 units from the x-axis. We find the difference between point B and the x-axis. The y is negative 1, so point B is the absolute value of negative 1 units from the x-axis. Now we find the sum of the two distances. Point A is the absolute value of 4 units from the x-axis. Point B is the absolute value of negative 1 units from the x-axis. The distance from A to B is the sum of the absolute value of 4 and the absolute value of negative 1. We use addition because the points are on opposite sides of the x-axis. The absolute value of 4 is 4. It's 4 jumps from 0. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. It's 1 jump from 0. 4 plus 1 is 5. The distance between point A and B is 5 units. Now I know some of you are saying, why can't we just count them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. But what we're trying to do is teach you to add absolute values, okay? We can use absolute values to find distances between two points that have the same y-coordinate. We find the distance between point R and point P. There's a horizontal difference. Before we had a vertical difference, now we have a horizontal difference. And if you see, they both have the same y-value, a negative 3, a negative 3. They're both coming across right here on negative 3. But this has a horizontal value of negative 5, and this has a horizontal value of negative 1. So because point R is the absolute value of negative 5 units from this y-axis, and point P is the absolute value of negative 1 units from the y-axis, their difference is the distance. So the distance from R to P is going to be the absolute value of negative 5 minus the absolute value of negative 1. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5 jumps from 0, so that's a 5. And the absolute value of negative 1 is 1 jump from 0, so that's a 1. We do 5 minus 1, which is 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. We use subtraction because the points are on the same side of the y-axis. When two points are on opposite sides of an axis, so points Q and M are on the opposite side of this y-axis, it's in an adjacent quadrant, so it's not in the same quadrant. Adjacent means next to. We add to find the sum of their absolute values for the distance between them. We're going to add this distance to y and this distance to y together to get the total distance. When two points are in the same quadrant, we subtract 
to find the difference of their absolute values for the distance between them. And point S and point T are both in quadrant 2. They don't have an axis between them. They're in the same quadrant. So we're going to subtract. If the x-coordinates are the same, we use the y-coordinates to find the distance. And if the y-coordinates are the same, we use the x-coordinates to find the distance. So if you look at this pair, the x, they're both a 3. So we're going to use the y-coordinates to find the difference. See how they're different from each other for y? So we're going to use the y. For these, the x-coordinates are different. They have the same y-coordinates. So we're going to use the x-coordinates to find the distance. We have a negative 1 and a 6. That's what we'll use to find the distance. We're finished with the second part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the last part, solving distance problems on a grid using absolute value. So just remember, if you're confused about whether you need to add or subtract to find the difference, just follow the rule right here. If the two points are on opposite sides of an axis, we add. If they're in the same quadrant, we subtract. Have a really good day, and I hope you join me for the last part of this lesson. Bye.